There's only one way that Public Safety Chair Senator Chris Barnett best describes the war on drugs for Guam. I'm not so sure that, that we are waging a war on drugs. It's more like drugs has waged a war on us, and that war has been won by the drugs. Barnett saying the problem is widespread. Federal and local officials gathered at the University of Guam Wednesday for the Criminal Justice Capstone Forum. Students bringing the panel together to address the impacts drugs have on our island. Guam Police Commander Joe Carbolito. Families that uh, have uh, people that are addicted to, to the drugs also uh, impact their, their own uh, families and their homes. And it also creates a homelessness. Attorney General Doug Moylan says meth is resulting in crime spiking and every level of the community is being impacted. You cannot just say that meth is affecting us on a criminal level where meth addicts are, are committing crimes. You have to understand that meth is destroying the very fabric of our community. The young babies and things, we've gone out with GPD to the, uh, the boonies and found ranches where the kids are just basically left on their own. Superior Court Judge Maria Senzon deals with meth users in her courtroom often. The impact has not changed. The drug, maybe the drug of choice, might have changed between the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Every decade has its drug of choice. We are still seeing methamphetamines as the current drug of choice, while fentanyl and other drugs are making their way, eking their way into the island community. HSI Special Agent Robert Ramirez adds, The community has almost become numb to its usage. We've become indifferent to a person using ice or selling ice. Everybody here might or may know someone that, that is involved with the drug, but you know nobody wants to say anything. Um, you know, it, it, that's, that's kind of where it begins, especially with law enforcement. We need that help. Public defender Stephen Hattori echoes meth is getting cheaper and into the hands of so many and tearing families apart. Obviously, there have been a, numerous homicides that are more drug-related now than they've been in the past. So we're not sure what's causing that. I wish uh, Rachel was here. I don't know if it's bad meth, but the, the drug world is, for some reason, becoming uh, more violent. At least that's what we've been seeing in the last couple years. Meantime, Senator Barnett shared how more kids are being placed into the foster care system because parents would rather use and abuse. They're seeing kids uh, who aren't showing up to school. Uh, when they do, they haven't eaten. Uh, when they do show up to school, uh, they tell the school staff that their uh, parents are missing in action. Uh, nowhere to be found, and a lot of times you have uh, elementary kids watching uh, the rest of the kids. A harsh reality, he admits, is impacting the familiar family values for many on Guam. The students also dive into the history of drugs on island and how it's since evolved. Watch more from the War on Drugs Forum on KUAM News Weekend Edition.